back, welcome back, welcome back. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Happy Thursday, happy Thursday. Yes, I know it's about to be the weekend again. It's already Thursday. But we're back with why Formula One cannot race at Mount Panorama, aka Bathurst. So you guys that we have reacted to this. Um one of the craziest tracks I've probably seen. Just the whole Bathurst thing in general, just how crazy it is. But I'm very, very, very looking forward to it. You are finna react to it. We are finna see what it's talking about. But before the video starts, you guys know what it is. Don't forget to like the video and sub as well. Shout out to the perspective as well who did make the video. You are finna check it out. Now let's get started. Welcome to Australia, mate. Mike. Good night, Mike. <laughs> Good night, Mike. <laughs> We've got beer that we drink. Be that we don't drink. Okay, y'all be hating on Foster's, bro. Uh, okay, now I need to know why you don't. I think I, I think I've asked this before, like months ago. Why don't Australians don't like Foster's? Like, is there like a <laughs> is there a reason? Like, I'm only saying because my dad like used to drink Foster's. I don't like it personally. I think it's a nasty ass taste. That's probably the reason because it don't taste good. But I need to know why y'all don't like Foster's. There's like a, like uh, a nasty like a. Uh, a effed up reason, then hey, I'm all for that. Like I would I don't it's like if there's like a like a terrible meme behind it, I'm all for it. Don't support it. But like if it's like like what's the reason behind it? Like what's the reason people do not drink foster, especially in Australia? What's up with that? Opera houses that we never visit. Prime Ministers that go to Hawaii during bushfire season. Bushfire but we have one thing that no one else has. Bushfire season. The Mount Panorama Circuit in Bathurst. The greatest f***ing country on <laughs> earth. So it's the age old question, why doesn't Formula One race at Mount Panorama? Home of course to the Bathurst 1000 and is also in my opinion Australia's best racetrack. See, it's complicated. There's no one reason as to why Formula One can't race at Bathurst. Most will know that Bathurst is just not safe for Formula One racing. Right. And it's not just because of the layout. There's actually a whole list of things that makes it impossible. In fact, this list exists on Reddit. So thank you to these users who posted it. I'll read it out for you. So the track is too narrow. Fails FIA Reg 7.3. Skyline and the Dipper are too steep. Fails FIA Reg 7.4. The cutting is too steep. Fails FIA reg 7.4. Limited pit area for the teams. It's over 100 miles from the nearest international airport, which is Sydney. Zero runoff at Griffin's Bend after a long straight. Same with Murray's Corner. Kamikaze kangaroos, which we'll talk about in a minute. And the gravel trap at the chase throws you into the path of other cars. So from that list, you can clearly... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we see from just the profile of the okay. race itself, Come some of the corners these. would need major change, and not to mention the geography on which the circuit is built on as well, in order to receive the thumbs up to race there. And there is no way, personally, I'd like to see this track change to accommodate Formula One. I would never want to see the identity of Australia's most iconic race tracks, which actually has a world reputation of being pretty good. And I also don't think it would even be possible. Possible. You see, we have some great circuits in Australia. The Bend, Phillip Island, Albert Park, and Sandown Raceway. <laughs> but Bathurst is Australia's most iconic and most insane track that we have. It's recognized all over the world and there's truly nothing else like it. Before I continue, let's talk about this kangaroo problem, shall we? Please. Which isn't really a problem. It's just Australia. It's just how it is over here. See, Bathurst is in the middle of nowhere. It's a two hour and 48 minute drive from the Sydney Opera House. I live in suburban Melbourne and at the right time of day, if I peek over my fence, there's a big chance I'll probably see a kangaroo hopping along. Oh, that's a big roo. Oh running with his baby when you're in the middle of the bush it's not a matter of if 
you see a kangaroo, it's when you see a kangaroo. Kangaroos on the circuit is just a common occurrence at Bathurst. You might even see them in the pit lane and they might even delay practice sessions. Let me tell you, driving in Australia and seeing a kangaroo run across the road in front of you is probably one of the most terrifying things you can experience. They are capable of doing serious damage to your car. They could probably even write your car off if they're big enough. The one thing supercars or touring cars have is an enclosed body. With Formula One, well, we don't have that, do we? The thought of a Formula One car connecting with a kangaroo is truly terrifying. Oh, yeah. I don't even want to think about the mess it would make. I'd be lying if I said to you that I didn't want to see Formula One race at Bathurst because it would be something very special. Imagine 20 Formula One cars coming out of Hell Corner, following each other up that straight. It, oh, it'd just be insane. Though that'll probably never happen, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have never seen a Formula 1 car tackle the mountain. Most famously in 2011, one week before the Australian Grand Prix, a promotional event was held by Vodafone. Jensen Button and supercars legend Craig Lowndes... Okay, first thing first, I'll be absolutely pissed if I was racing and a freaking kangaroo is just... Just jumps in front in front of the car. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. I will be freaking pissed. I will be so. Oh my god, I'll be pissed. <laughs> would have the opportunity to tackle Bathurst in a Formula 1 car. Screaming around the track, this promotional event has become iconic and something that a lot of people look back on as quite an awesome sight. F1 at Bathurst is something we can only imagine, but seeing a demo take place there really made an idea of something come to life in a way, even if it was just a promo. Jensen managed an unofficial lap record of 1 minute 48.8. Destroying any previous lap time and is yet to be beaten. With that, Button did notice the sketchy nature of the circuit, mainly on the run down the Conrod Strait. Jensen talked about how scary it was being at that speed with those bumps. Mount Panorama Circuit is a public road, it's just like Albert Park, which okay. means you can go there whenever you want. Oh. This one is definitely on my bucket list because, well, so much has happened there. Me and my friend Josh made a video about this place that you should definitely go check out. Oh, Before that's Formula boy. One raced at Bathurst, it would instantly become one of motorsports Shout biggest out Josh. spectacles. It would be one of the most anticipated races of the year, and it would be one of the most insane things to happen to Australian motorsport. Now again, it's never going to happen, but the thing I love about YouTube is being able to explore these possibilities and just imagine it for a second. What makes this track great is its long bumpy straights, the barriers, the gravel traps and the lack of gravel traps, the elevation, the mental sharp downhill sections and much, much more. And as much as I love Formula One, I would never want this track to change to accommodate the category. True, true, it's just true. too good of a circuit to be ruined. True. I look forward to the next day that we see a Formula One car take to the mountain, even if it is just a promotional event. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think of Mount Panorama? Do you think Formula One could ever race there? I don't think it ever will unless, you know, they destroy the circuit and completely ruin it. Uh, but let me know. Interested to hear what you have to say about one of Australia's greatest sporting facilities. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload and you won't miss a thing. And with all that being said, Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, I'm I'm with Buddy. I'm with pers uh, Perspective. I wouldn't, I don't think F1 cars can drive there in general. Like you said, it's bumpy, the corner, stuff like that. Plus it's just dangerous, you know what I mean? Like, it's just dangerous. And like you say, you have to like, and plus I think, just Australians in general, I don't think they would want the track to be like, you know, changed or, you know, reconstructed just to fit Formula One cards. I mean, revenue wise and fans wise, they're probably bringing a lot of good money and like, you know, fans, stuff like that. But at the same time, I mean, 
I don't think it was built to accommodate Formula One, so why would you now change it to 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 accommodate for Formula One? And if I'm correct, I think don't they don't they drive in Australia anyway? So, but anyway, that was very very interesting. I'm not surprised about about it. I ain't surprised about the Kamikaze Kangaroos. I couldn't even imagine that, especially in an F1 car. A Kamikaze Kangaroo connected. Plus, have, if you accidentally hit it. Oh my god, oh just a dead kangaroo. I don't I don't even want to think about that. But anyway, you guys will give like, like a sub, comment below you guys thoughts and reactions, and we'll see you guys later.